Hi, it's me again, with a new little game project to show you. But this time I actually listened to what I promised myself every time when finishing a new game project. And would you look at that, it is now the best performing project on my itch.io page. The thing is, I am a big sucker for game concepts and cool, new and innovative game mechanics. But cool, new and innovative game mechanics alone don't make a game that people want to play. A tech demo at most, but nothing that people would be happy to go back to time and time again. The thing that is usually missing from my projects is pleasing visuals and game art. I always get lost in how to expand the concept I'm working on, while ignoring the one thing that makes good thumbnails and that pulls people over the edge to give your game a try. So for my next project I set out to create a game and spend a reasonable amount of time on making nice game art. And what is this new project? It's a simple strategy game set in the medieval era, where you play as a lord, managing the population growth of cities and conquering other cities. They're not too complex. I got a lot of inspiration from a game I used to play as a kid. I tried to find it again and apparently it's called Phage Wars, where you play as cells trying to infect other cells. And that inspired me to do something similar. You will own cities and these cities generate people, as cities do. You can then send these people to conquer other cities, but you must make sure that you don't deplete your cities because empty cities produce fewer people, as cities do. I also chose to make everything in HTML and JavaScript using P5.js just because it's so easy to get stuff up and running with it. And pretty early on I started with drawing my own sprites. Usually I just continue with boxes and colored circles for as long as I can possibly stretch it, but now I wanted to get a feel of the graphics as soon as possible. I took a pencil and paper and just started drawing what I thought I would need. Some trees to create a landscape, city centers, the soldiers that will do all the conquering. And perhaps as a visual aid of how many people are in your city, I can add houses dynamically, depending on the size of the city. So I drew a few of those. And it was very easy to scan these in and just use these in my game. It immediately made it look more fun. Also, medieval maps have this unique perspective where it wants to be a top-down view, but buildings are clearly drawn as you see them when you stand in front of them. So that's the style I wanted to mimic. I also drew my sprites like that, but displayed them as if they were seen from a top-down perspective. I applied some trickery by making the sprites on top smaller so it looks as if they are further away while still being on the same flat 2D plane. And I must say I am quite pleased with how it turned out. After programming some AI and adding the game mechanics, I often spend more time actually playing the game than writing code for it. But there still was an issue though. The game has by definition an exponential progression. As you conquer more cities, you will have more troops, with which you can conquer more cities and so on. Creating this snowball effect. And that's not always fun, because if you make a small mistake in the beginning of your game, it becomes almost impossible to come back from that. So I needed to find a way to break this vicious cycle. I had ideas of adding an economic system where you can use money for certain upgrades, or randomly spawn benefits throughout the map in case you need it, but that would quickly get too complex. And what I ended up using was to give every player a bonus when they were at their last city and at the point of losing the game. At that point you can choose between either fortifying the city you have, so it takes twice as many soldiers to conquer it, or you can choose for a final horde of 400 soldiers that set up camp in your final city, so you can make a pushback. And after that the playthroughs were a lot more diverse, especially since you must also consider the AI getting these bonuses when conquering their cities. After some more playtesting and small performance improvements I felt ready to call it done. I uploaded it to itch.io and to my surprise it caught on for a little while. The game even made it to the front page. It is to this day still my best performing project on itch.io. Not like it's something impressive, adding up to only a few plays per day, but nevertheless a personal best. If you want to try the game for yourself, I'll share the link in the description. I would love to hear your feedback and what you think about it or how it could be improved. 
Eventually, I'm glad that I prioritized visuals for this project, and I think I will keep doing this. It's a bit of a hurdle to create all these visuals at a stage where the game is still uncertain. But having coherent artwork that you made yourself and fits the theme of the game you want to make was a great motivator to keep working on the project and to imagine what it would look like when it's finished. If you'd like to follow more of my projects, I heard YouTube has some sort of feature to follow people. I also heard this rumor about a button that allows you to express that you're pleased with a video or something, but I don't know what that's about, maybe you'll figure it out. <laughs>